Taj. Hi, this is Gordon. We're here at CES 2013 looking at Ace's new SSD add-in card. It is a PCIe SSD. Uh, there's really not too many details. I can't tell you what controller. I can't tell you capacity or price because they have not told me. And I can't even show you the back of this card because it's top secret. But I can show you the front. Obviously, it has a cool um, shield on it, which obviously makes it go faster. I'm just kidding. But it is actually running in the system right here. So it is a real product. The company is saying they're expecting the car to be out probably within three to six months. Price to be determined. Obviously, as it is a Republic of Gamers card, it is intended for enthusiasts. The big deal is, uh, for anybody who's ever tried a PCIe adding card, is compatibility. A lot of these pro the boards have problems booting up on a lot of motherboards. Uh, in fact, if you go to forums, you'll see people having problems trying to boot these in motherboards. Since Asus makes motherboards, these will work in all of their motherboards, at least all of their modern boards, and probably will work in a lot of their competitors as too. The company says they're even working with their competitors to tell them if they're having problems with their board and how to fix it. And just to show you, above this card in the system is a dual 7970 card. Let's see if I can get in a little close on here. No, I can't. The big deal that's a little different is it's water cooled. 7970 cards, the ones we've seen, have been really big, really hot and too loud. This card is actually fairly quiet and offers a pretty good performance. The Ares 2 will actually be a limited card with only a thousand cards sold worldwide. This is Gordon with Maximum PC. More video on our channel later.